What is up guys? Today at Blade HQ, we are at Blade Show 2017 with none other than Ernie Emerson, the legend, the man, and his new knives. Now Ernie, I don't even think we need an introduction here. People know who you are. What do we have on the table today? Let's start with the new Bowie. Well, this is the year of the Bally song for Emerson Knives. And uh, as, as many of you know, there's, I have a history that goes all the way back 30 or so years with Bally songs. It was actually the reason that I started making knives. And uh, the first knife I ever made was a Bally song. And then uh, put it down because we got going with all the other knives all this time. But it's been on the back burner, but it was on the back burner on the stove across the street. <laughs> so it was a long ways off. But like everything else, uh, there's a time and a place, and that yeah. everything kind of came together. Uh, decided to make some ballet songs finally, and uh, and here they are. So okay, so so your very first knife was a ballet song. Yes, it was. Tell me about this one. Is it similar to that original, or what? What are we looking at here? Well, no, it's not because the first knife I ever made was pretty darn crude. It, it, it had a blade and it had two handles in it, so there's there's quite a bit of difference between yeah. what we're able to produce now and the one that I did in my garage with a hacksaw yeah. and a file and a torch. So, yeah, it's it's got two handles and a blade, so it's similar in that way, <laughs> but hopefully it's a better knife than the first one I ever made. Okay, so you and I were talking off camera here. You've got four models here, and you were telling me that they match your production models that you typically make. Tell me about that aspect of it. Well, because we've been making knives as a company for a long time now, uh, we have certain models that are just kind of our perennial favorites. The CQC7, the Commander, uh, our new knife, the Quiken knife, uh, a dragon style blade. And so I looked at it and I said, look, you know, we have a look, we have a, a people that, that like the Roadhouse blade or like that recurve Commander blade. So when I designed the uh, Bally Songs, I thought, why not make the Bally Song that reflects those same models of knives that we've always, that we've produced? Because people have a familiarity with oh, them, yeah. they like them. Yeah. There's a reason for them. I designed the original knives with those blades for specific tasks and yeah. uses. And that carries on into the, into the new models. And I think, I think we hit it pretty damn. You nailed it. Pretty damn you know good that. because like I, I look at these and I say this is an Emerson. Yep. Like there's no question. In fact, my first impression the other day when I saw it online, I look at that wave, I'm like, okay, that wave cannot have a functional purpose. That is an Emerson <laughs> wave for trademark only. It's it's to tell that it's your product. Yeah, that's I'm, exactly right. And, and, and again, it. you might know that the function of the wave is part of the reason the wave is on a knife. The other part of the reason is that it, it gives you a place to put, put your thumb. That's a good point. So yeah. when you're holding onto a knife, you have a place to rest that thumb when you're cutting. So, you know, besides the wave feature on the other knives, it still serves a practical function, yeah. even on a knife where it isn't functioning as a wave, yeah. so to speak. So, Love it. We're gonna fold in, look. Yeah. We're gonna fold a little bit of uh, flipping footage into this thing, and uh, we'll get some Bally's, Bally guys' opinions on this. But uh, basically, do. four ounces, 4.09. Yeah. So this is sitting right in between, if you're a Bally guy, it's sitting in between a 51 and, say, a bare bones, a BRS bare bones, which, congratulations, that's a good spot. People like the knives to be Thank weighted in that much. range. So beautiful knives. Well, and, uh, there's uh, one other thing I wanted to talk about. Yeah, tell me. Uh, you know, people look at the, the mounting hardware that we used. and uh, Phillips. I actually had a couple guys ask me, well, why aren't you using Torx set and things like that? And I said, son, son, everybody's a son <laughs> to me now because I'm a grandfather. I said, son, uh, you've got to understand the philosophy behind Emerson Knives. I use these because I want you to be able to go to Home Depot and buy a replacement part if you have to. You can always buy parts from us, but again, our knives were the original take apart folding knives yeah. so that you could clean, take apart, use use the tools that are in your junk drawer yeah. in the kitchen uh, to take the knife apart. So that's the reason that I chose the, the mounting hardware that we did. And uh, you don't have to go uh, online and buy a special wrench to uh, to tighten or loosen or to take apart your knife or replace a screw if, if God forbid it falls out. So yeah. to answer that question, that's, that's the practicality side 
of my design philosophy with knives. Love it. Now, just a couple spec features for the guys that love specs. We're, we got G10 here. Are these steel? Titanium. They're titanium. That's titanium. what I wondered. Yep. That's great. And I like the, the little detail on the latch there. This, you guys are masters of detail. Well, it's cool to see. The, the latch is actually, it's adjustable also, uh, so that you can screw that that button in or out depending on how tight or how loose you like oh, to have the, uh, you know, your, your closing or your, your grip on that knife. That's awesome. So, yeah. So we've, we've did a few things and I, I didn't invent any of that. Um, no. There's other people that have done it, but I wanted to incorporate some of those things so that you can, and, and yes, can you customize these if you ended up with one? You sure. You can because sure. you can take it apart, make special handles and all this and that. So, you Love know, we it. wanted to have guys have fun with the knife too. Love so. it. Okay, I gotta ask you, Ernie, before we yeah. move on to the, the hawk here, do you flip? You know... What, what you got? Come yes on. and Go. no. <laughs> when I learned how to flip a uh, belly song, the basic sequence was just opening it up yeah. and closing it. Uh, the guys that exist today have taken it to oh, the end of the universe. I've seen guys do things that I was like, I'd be scared, yeah. witless to try with a sharp belly song. So my ability to open it up, I can open it up and I can close yeah. it. It's pretty good, pretty damn good. Yeah. But I can't do all the twirling and all that. No, I, I love it. We'll, That's we'll for the other some guys. of that footage. Okay, let's move on to the hawk, Ernie. Tell me about what, what is this one called? And it's, what what is it, why is it? Well, it's the Emerson Combat Axe. And uh, there's a little story behind the, the design on that. Uh, and it's, I don't know, it's kind of funny, funny to me. Yeah. Um, the, the, the TV shows, the Vikings and uh, Last Emperor, Empire and all that, all of the Viking stuff that's on TV and all that. I'm, I'm a big Viking fan. And, uh, you know, the Vikings were, they were axe men because yeah. the axe was, in all reality, the axe was the affordable weapon. The swords were very expensive, sure. even, even in those times. So only the wealthiest guys could afford a sword. But the average Viking warrior, and, and even the guys that could afford a sword, they had axes. Yeah. Everyone had an axe because the axe fulfilled uh, not only a weapons uh, niche, but also was a utility. It could chop wood, it could hammer things, it could, cut, you could skin with it, whatever you yeah. wanted to do. So anyway, my wife got me for, for Christmas uh, the chromosome thing, 23andMe. Oh boy. And I always thought, you know, I'm, I thought I was Austrian yeah. and English. So we do the chromosome thing, and it, I come back as set like 77% Scandinavian. There it which, is. Which I say, that's Viking, dude. I'm 77% so this is, this Viking. this is your roots, Tomahawk. <laughs> this is your roots, Hawk. This is going it back is. to Scandinavia. It is, and it's funny because <laughs> maybe that explains because I'll tell you, when I pick it up, I just want to, I want to oh, yeah. something with it. It's, it's but, nice, too. Well, here's the deal. I also collect. Yeah. Antiquities. Okay. I'm in real bona fide yeah. museum quality antiquities. And I have uh, in my collection uh, four thousand year old Viking axes. The wow. real the real deal, the, the actual ones that were used probably yeah. to do some pretty bad things. And so this head is an actual one to one uh, tracing of really? one of those axes. Now the, the original axes, of course, are hafted onto a wooden handle and they're forged, but this basic outline is the outline of a real bona fide That's awesome. thousand year old Viking axe that I have in my So your R and D is thousands of years. Yeah, I, I figured love it. I figured it like this. Look, I can That's reinvent great. the wheel or I can go to something that guys actually put their yeah. lives on the line. Yeah. So it had to function as a real love utility weapon utility item and as a weapon love it. and I think we hit it I, I, I really like this this axe love it I, I call it an axe an axe rather than a tomahawk yeah. just because uh, I, I always think of a tomahawk being a longer with a with a sure. projection on the back but now what's the name yeah have you named it it's, yet it's the Emerson combat axe that's Emerson. exactly what straightforward it is. yeah no bull crap yep and I it's s7 it. steel uh, it's going to be coated with uh, uh, a Cerakote Cool. Yeah, and these are G10 handles on here. Grippy, by the way. Yeah, thank it, you. I, I like, you guys do a good job. It's grippy, but not overly grippy. Yeah, well, you so. know, you don't want to something to, uh, you don't want it to, to sand somebody's hand exactly. away. Exactly. Because I'll tell you, people, people don't know what it's like when you, you can swing it around, but take it out and take a piece of wood and 
do 15 minutes of chopping with yeah. it. If you get a blister, then there's something wrong going sure. on with, with the way the handle's designed or the, yeah. or the material is, you know. And we tried to make sure that you know, if people are using these, uh, that we, we made it so that it's it's kind and gentle to the person using no, them. You, you know and that. mean and nasty to who's, who they're you, using you it You nailed on. it. And I, I love that there's a little swell here down at the bottom. Fits nice if you're choking up. Yep. That feels nice too. What about the sheath on it? Is uh, that designed yet or is that still in progress? It is and it isn't. Um, you can stand it. Yeah, let it? me go get one Let's of those do it. sheaths. Um, Guys, this is fun. Excuse me. This is good stuff. I need this the sheaths the for stuff. the axles. I'm a halfway decent knife designer. <laughs> I don't think I'm the best sheath designer in the world, okay. but so this sheath may one? change, but really what we've got right now is we've got a uh, we've got a just a two-piece sheath. So this this axe slides in okay. and snaps in like kydex, that. Kydex, right? Yeah, and it's kydex. And uh, since these are prototypes, I don't have the um, the mounting hardware. The mounting hardware yet, but it's probably going to be something, maybe a tech lock or something. We like cool. we like uh, Wegner stuff and everything, but really it's just to uh, it's just to put that that axe in. Simple, straightforward, and have it slide in cool. like that. Easy in, easy out, and it still protects you from that edge. Yeah. Ernie, beautiful line. I love seeing this new stuff coming out. Uh, you've been making the same CQC series for years and years, and this stuff is like, it's spot on. It's, and it's beautiful. It's, it's different. different. I love seeing it. Now, a couple things that you guys want to know. Where can we find you, Ernie? Uh, you can find uh, the knives and everything over at www.emersonknives.com. Uh, I also have another website called theguardianshepherd.com where I get to talk about my philosophies on personal security and, and uh, awareness and self-defense and things like that. So those two places are where you can get to our product and awesome. our knives and, and get to me personally. And uh, so, but we also sell the knives through Blade HQ. Blade so HQ. I recommend buying knives from BladeHQ.com. And there's a special thing about these ballet songs. What's the special thing, Ernie? Well, our ballet songs are going to be only available, sole distributor on the planet. If you want one of these uh, Emerson Ballet Song knives, the only people that are going to sell them are Blade HQ. So get over to Blade HQ. They'll keep you posted on when they're available, and that's the place to go for the Ballet Songs. Love it. Ernie, thank you so much, sir. My pleasure. Appreciate your As time. As always. Thank you, man. Thanks, guys, for watching. If you haven't liked and subscribed to the channel, do it now. We'll have more Blade Show coverage coming up during the week. Thanks, guys.